It was just another day for Alex, navigating the familiar streets of his small town as an Uber Eats driver. The autumn air was crisp, and the town, nestled between dense forests, had always been a haven of tranquility. Deliveries were routine, the addresses familiar, and the faces often repeated. Little did Alex know, his last delivery of the day would veer far from the ordinary. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the roads, Alex received an order from a location he hadn't visited before. The destination was on the outskirts, where the town's quaint houses gave way to the untamed wilderness of the surrounding forests. The order was simple, just a pizza, but the tip attached was unusually generous. Eager for the extra earnings, Alex accepted, his curiosity piqued by this remote request. The GPS led him down winding roads, further from the safety of streetlights and into the embrace of the dark forest. As he approached the address, the house that awaited him seemed to swallow the last light of day, standing desolate and seemingly abandoned. The windows were dark, and the overgrown path to the front door whispered of years of neglect. As he stepped out of his car, an eerie silence enveloped him, broken only by the crunch of dry leaves underfoot and the distant hoot of an owl. The air felt unnaturally cold, and a faint, inexplicable light flickered from within the house, casting unsettling shadows that danced just beyond the edge of visibility. With the pizza in hand, Alex approached the door, the sense of unease growing with each step. Before he could knock, the door creaked open, revealing a figure that stood in the threshold. It was vaguely human in shape, but possessed an unsettling, inhuman presence. Its eyes, if they could be called that, glowed with an eerie luminescence, piercing through Alex with an intensity that turned his blood to ice. Frozen in place, Alex could only stare as the figure moved, its movements jerky and unnatural, as if it were not accustomed to its form. A voice, or something akin to it, filled his mind, not through his ears, but directly into his consciousness, speaking in tones that were both mesmerizing and terrifying. Panic surged through Alex, jolting him into action. He dropped the pizza, turning to flee, but the forest around the house had changed yet. The path to his car was gone, replaced by an impenetrable wall of trees that seemed to close in around him. The sky, once speckled with stars, now swirled with colors that had no place in the earthly spectrum. The realization hit him with the force of a physical blow. He was no longer on Earth. The alien entity, with motives unfathomable, had brought him to a place beyond his comprehension. Desperate, Alex ran, dodging between the bizarre flora that seemed to reach out for him, their touch cold and electric. The story of Alex's final delivery remains a whispered tale in the town he left behind. Some say he vanished without a trace, others that he simply chose to disappear. But on quiet nights, when the boundary between worlds grows thin, the chilling tale serves as a reminder of the fragility of our normalcy and the unseen, incomprehensible forces that lurk just beyond the veil of our understanding.